I want to see how um, George Washington, Obama, and Hitler have a conversation. You just want that, like you just want them at the round table. Yeah, I just, I just want to podcast with them three. That would be hard. George Washington is gonna be like, "The fuck is this nigga doing as president?" Because <laughs> Obama's black. But then at the same time, Hitler is like, <laughs> what he you- wants everybody dead, <laughs> and Obama knows. Both what you know, like listen, it's okay. Black people are cool now. Shut up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's gonna be Hitler and him jumping, but then George Washington's gonna be like, wait, no, bro, you're a fucking mass fucking murderer, genocidist. You know, but what I don't saying? think he knew Hitler. No, he didn't. But when he finds out who he is, wait, who are you? I killed Jews. Like, <laughs> yo, now I was like, wait, but who, do you, who does George Washington side with? <laughs> he said, who so, does he side with? Nah, in his mind, a slave or a vast uh, murderer, ge- uh, leader of the genocide. But I ain't gonna lie, we're not gonna live that long in that world. Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast. Episode number. What number do you think it is, Tyrone? Right, nigga, this is episode 148. Oh, you're. Yo, two for two. I'm nice. Come on, bro. Kind of the best ever. Come on, bro. Episode number 148. I'm your host, DW, a.k.a. Darius. I got my co-host with me, Tyrone, in the building. Biggest op in the world. Top op. Don't do drugs. Don't steal around him or you are going to jail immediately. And thank you again for tuning in to another episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you're not, if you already subscribed, send it to a friend who isn't subscribed. You know what I'm saying? Like the video. We have to start threatening people now because it's getting ridiculous. Tyrone, what are you gonna do to these people if they don't get 50 likes, bro? Um, pause. I'm not doing anything to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing anything to anybody. If you don't get 50 likes though, and you're watching the video, your little sibling's dead. Oh nah, I didn't mean the, he went Dead. overboard. He went overboard. Nah, it, nah, Dead. don't don't do that. You can still like, but don't listen to Tyra. It's not Dead. gonna happen. I promise. But like I said, Dead. like post notifications. You get new. Ep- you get to alert of new episodes. You know what I'm saying? Follow our Patreon link in the, the bio. We're gonna shout out everybody who follows the Patreon. You know what I'm saying? We got new content every week. We got new episodes every week. We got new different content coming up. We got mukbang up there. You want to see me and Fred eating food? I would watch it. I love watching mukbangs and uh, cheat day videos. I don't know why. Fritz a fat dude. So it was good eats, bro. We got some uh, hot chicken. You ever had like? It's like you know. It was a. It was in Jersey City. It you was like Jersey City, bro. It was called uh, Twins Hot Chicken. It was a butt. Well, you'll find out if you watch the video. Exactly. Exactly. I was about to ask you. Yeah. yeah we'll That's what I'm saying. Shout out to our sponsor. Shout out to Seat Geek. If you're new. Use code no regulars N O R E G U L A R S all caps in the if you are f- your first time sign up with Seat Geek you will get what fifty dollars off any per no no you get damn I don't even remember mid, I bro. get you get twenty dollars off any purchase over fifty dollars for the first time you yeah. sign up with Seat Geek you know what I'm saying you guys want to go to a concert you guys want to go sporting events all that good stuff is all on Seat Geek and shout out to our other sponsor, Prize Picks. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Prize Picks. Exactly. I'm saying it's good luck. I'm t- we trying to help y'all get bread, bro. Use it up, bro. You help us get bread, we help y'all get bread. You know Too what I'm easy, saying? Bro. Easy, bro. It's easy peasy. But we got a lot of good stuff to talk about today. We got stuff, a lot of situations that's been going on in social media. We got we're gonna talk about some new sport, uh, some sports things that's coming up for our Prize Picks. We got to, we're gonna talk about uh a lot of games that we're gonna do. We got some would you rather questions, and you know we're just gonna talk about life. I got a couple conspiracies. Tyrone got some crazy shit to talk about so we're gonna see how that goes man but the first thing i want to talk about bro i know you want to talk about this we were talking about at camp bro shout out to all my campers though if you're watching this you know what i'm saying shout all out my to young campers. dudes we me and ty if y'all don't know me and ty we are camp counselors i don't got my whistle on me. i was gonna bring my whistle i have a whistle in the car a that one's been there like since first camp ever yo it'd be like that yeah. i have like four whistles so i don't want to use it <laughs> like i ain't gonna <laughs> like, is it me like when like using the whistle so much the residue comes off like into yeah. my mouth pause yeah. No, <laughs> that <laughs> doesn't happen. To me. <laughs> really? No, you're lying. You, you got be l- sucking on your pulse. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. It's like when you bite it. It's like maybe it's because like I have it in my mouth and like pause. And it's like <laughs> it's like when something crazy happens, I'm like yeah, and like I bite down. No, I don't do that. I don't. You don't. It's just me. I don't bite down on the thing. At all, <laughs> like, yo, it's I not my ever, fault. It just happens. I like, literally never bite down. On so, like, how you blow a whistle? You just put it between your lips, or like you put. Like, It'll be on my teeth, and I'll blow. But like, pause. <laughs> I don't. 
<laughs> I'm not about to. I'm not like. like no, I did do I it. I you cracked yours before. I did. Like, I always crack them. I don't know why, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it'd be bad. Like, my, my mouth be like tingly because I think that the stuff goes in. Yeah, the that's. Mouth. Yo, that's not. Pause. Oh, my God. Yo, I don't know. But, like, that's what nah, I'm saying. It's, it's the third day. My, my whistle already mid. No, nah, mine's good. And I got. I think we got clean now. I ain't gonna lie, that's disgusting. You definitely like after every week you got. Yeah, clean. not even every day on the low. Yeah, think about it. You blow that. You use that whistle. You hang it up. There's like dust my everywhere. Cousin calling me, bro. Oh, see what he's doing. Love that nigga. Go ahead. He's face me right now, bro. Wait, which one? The light skin nigga, bro. Oh, tell me on the pod, bro. Tell me shout out all the Brooklyn dudes, bro. If I drink this water. What you need, bro. <laughs> that shit's cooked. So you know it's hot in there? Yes. It, wait, when did it shut off? <laughs> you ran out of AC? Um, 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 um. He turned it off because he was cold. You turned it. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> I got you, I got you. We'll be right back, people. We got a commercial for you guys. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U L A R S, all caps at checkout. We'll save you $20 on your first purchase with Seat Geek of over $50. Think about it, people. That's $20. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. Seat Geek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over 70,000 events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in to Seat Geek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, Seat Geek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get, we different than regular, regular. You know what I'm saying. Come on. Let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. We got a lot of things to talk about. First thing I want to talk about, we were talking about at camp. Yeah. A sketch, bro. You want to know? Yo. I ain't going to lie, bro. I don't care, bro. I'm going to watch sketch regardless, bro. So what? Hey, so what? He did a little bit of mook. I'm not jacking it. All right. Wait, no, so, no. I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. <laughs> All right. You know what? Maybe he, he took a couple freaky pictures. He might have did some things with his mouth paws. He was in a dark time. Some people make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean that. Like, he changed. You're not doing it now, I hope. Maybe. if he, Even if he is, I don't care. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I just don't understand what's the point of exposing it. Like, like what's, like what's they really did it for the clout. You know that, right? Exposing it? Yeah. I mean, I would expose it too if I saw you it. You like, would Yo, too? peep, look at this, this sketch. It's free clout. It's free clout. Free clout. <laughs> yo, he's clout? crazy. Free clout. Come on. Bro, if we was on the podcast. <laughs> hey, yo, I got some shit for y'all, bro. Hey, look what we found. Sponsored by No Regulars. Bow. And I'm going to show you. That's sketch. <laughs> but look, my thing is, it's not a problem with him being mook. Yeah. It's a problem that, or it's not even a problem. Yeah. Nigga, that's just still crazy. <laughs> that is crazy, though. The nigga, it was like a year ago. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was two years ago. Oh, big whoop. It was two years big ago. Big whoop, he didn't leave. Hey, two years. <laughs> was... A lot could happen in two years, bro. Regardless, it's not a problem. If you mook, you mook. Yeah, it's cool. But it was max. You was yeah. doing all that, and then now you're at the status you're at. I'm going to cook you, bro. Hey, but look. this you, was... you, You're cookable. You're liable to be cooked. Okay, this is what you happened. What uh, see, this was, this was going through my mind, bro. I thought what was going on was I thought there was another person that looked like Sketch. No, nah, it's actually him. But because I seen a tweet that was like, "Yeah, that's not I'm not Sketch." This that there, but some <laughs> you know the internet, you know this yeah, AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, and I was like, wait, okay, he just takes pictures. Maybe he's just doing nah. it for the bread. But my problem is that everybody's like, he's a hero. He's so strong. Oh, he's so yeah. No, I don't. I don't like. Bro, I just feel bad about it, bro. It's good. I like, mean, yeah, you I know mean, what I'm saying? Like, you can feel bad about it. Like, I wouldn't not, say hero, but I mean, like, that's what I'm saying. They're like, he's so strong for doing this and gonna, bro. Own your. It, I don't think it was a mistake, but own your shit, bro. Yeah, no. Like, I mean, I if was, it's an L, it's an L, bro. It's like, it's like, damn, bro. You shouldn't have, should have locked in, <laughs> like. <laughs> You feel me? I, I like, just thought he was taking flicks. I didn't there's think consequences was, for your actions. So, yeah, I know. I didn't so think you're he, to get I didn't think he was going full force. I thought he was just taking flicks. Because, like, think about it. Yo, if he just taking, like, what if he's just posting it on OnlyFans just for the bread and, like, he's just taking flicks? No, that, then get your bread, but you know what you're doing now. Is he mook for that? 
Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, like he OD. Even boot. if you take it to boot, it's cool. I respect you getting bread, <laughs> but just know you're liable to cook. Like if I, like, oh, you get to get flat, like, bro. If I, if I'm like, yeah, bro, I got a million dollars. How you get that, Ty? Bro, I was with Diddy and shit. <laughs> okay. Niggas gonna be like, oh, you got mad bread, tough, but you're gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like I'm liable to get cooked. It's just I'm gonna have to live with it. Yeah. Now he could have not and take the pictures and not got the bread. And he'd be cool. Every action has a consequence. Bro. What I'm what I'm what I'm really curious about is like, was that still up on OnlyFans or did like how did this get there? It probably was still up. So he just didn't delete it? Or probably you could probably he forgot. What's on the internet? It's on the internet. Bro. I know, but like how would they like who was gonna find that? Like who was actually digging that deep to find that a homosexual man? Like you go on first. First you got to go on OnlyFans. Then you got to go to the the Mookie side of OnlyFans. Then you got to pay the subscription to look at the Mookie side. And then you got to find this this alter ego of sketch in a in a Superman costume, cheeked up. Balls. I didn't see that. You saw that? Yes. <laughs> there Darius was has problems. No, there was a lot of crazy stuff. I, I did not. No, nah, I didn't want to see it. I just believe him. <laughs> you just believe. You didn't even look been at lying to me. I believe him. <laughs> it was a lot of crazy stuff, but I ain't gonna lie. But it's like you know, I just felt bad because he said he was gonna off himself. He didn't say that. Yeah, he did say that. He was like, he, bro. He was like, he was at you know the little face crib. So when the yeah. when the whole thing got leaked out, he was at with like face banks or whatever, yeah. and he just dipped. No shoes, no glasses. Left the crib. Didn't talk to nobody. He's like, bro. And then FaZe Banks actually like talked to him to like come back home. Like, yo, chill out, bro. Like, you alright. And then he and then he came on stream. He was like, Yeah, this uh uh he he knew he said when the cat was bro, like, I do not feel bad, bro. Why are niggas scared to be gay? <laughs> like I'm saying, like just own that you're gay, bro. Like it's it's cool. Like, so is he gay or is he is he No, gay? he's he's gay, bro. Oh, like he can't go back for that? <laughs> yeah, there's no t- once you're gay, you're gay. Like, that you is can, true. You that yeah, like sucks, once you're bro. like once you're gay, you're gay. There's no like Oh, well, I was. Well, I used to suck. Nah, you're cooked. Oh, man. Like, once you just... But it's okay, though. That's the problem. Yeah, it is. That's what I'm saying. It is why okay. Why are you ready to... Like, <laughs> uh, like, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, why do you just feel like... I don't think he deserves, like, non-support or support. It's just like... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have so much bread. I'm not saying money, you know, cures that, but like... Yeah. I mean, at the same time, it's just like, you can be like, you know... You can treat like this, like, oh, you found out about this? Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I did it. Do what? Uh, what's uh that uh that bro, rapper dude? Bro, just be like, I'll do it again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He could have done that. He gelled. Double you know, down. Like, like uh, double down. Like uh, what's that that rapper dude? He's like, I'm JP. JP. Yeah. He yeah. was talking about you. He, he was having sex with a gay dude. Yeah. He was like, Yeah. Bro. He owned up. He's like, Yeah, I did it. I yeah. Care. What's up? I'll do. I'll do it again. Like, uh, that's up? what I'm saying. I'm like, like Hey, double bro. down, bro. Double down. Like <laughs> nobody felt bad from there. Just like, Oh, you. He did didn't it. bet on himself. You double down and you bet on yourself. <laughs> bro. He, didn't do it. he didn't do it, bro. Hey, man. I don't know, bro. I just think. It's like, it's, it, okay, what if this came out? What if this was like, like he was famous like 10 years ago or like eight years ago? You think it would be crazy if it came out like he was like Mook? Nah, like it, it would still be crazy. But like the fact that it was so recent, I'm like, yeah, bro, you're still fully into this shit. Yeah. Like, this oh, is oh, like this. Yeah, is, you're still fully. Like you, like you think about it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah still you knew this mind. was that. Like he just blew up last year. Like, yeah, you was thinking like, damn, I was just sucking. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro! You think he was making bread? No, that's what I'm saying, bro. There's some people on started only- streaming. No, he wasn't. Making There's some people. On- oh my god! Imagine he blew up off of that. He would have still been doing this. Oh man, see, hey, hey, bro. I- I'm just saying, bro. There's people on OnlyFans that are making thirty dollars a month. Are you gonna keep doing OnlyFans, or are you gonna wait till you blow up? That's what, that's what I'm thinking. Thirty a month is crazy. Thirty a month is wild. <laughs> OnlyFans, is <laughs> that is so OD. Weird. Like, there's people that's making like you know like six figures, whatever. That's cool. But where about the people that's making thirty, forty dollars, fifty, a hundred dollars a month? Where are them people at? Are they still doing it, or are they just like they tried it out and they realized it didn't work? <sighs> I remember when OnlyFans first came out. DDG made an OnlyFans, and he was just teaching people how to blow up on YouTube. On OnlyFans, yeah. <laughs> He would just like he wasn't post. He was just post like yeah videos like oh this is how you blow up like that's just, that like it, it's not like a it didn't help did it I mean people were subs- uh, subscribing still but it's like it's not like he was trying to say like this app like this app is not just for like like porn or corn or whatever it's just like I can it's just a free subscription like you can just subscribe to me I'll teach you how to how I how I got famous which is smart but like that's what Patreon is for. Mm. Technically, that's the thing. Follow our Patreon. I, I'm saying, hey, it, come on, bro. We are tapping, bro. Type shit. But we put the same thing up there, bro. Literally, blow up, bro. 
Like, Say no yo, <laughs> what? <laughs> nah. But I don't know. I hope Sketch, because I remember he said something about, like, he talked to God and was like, get me out of this situation and help me find a new way. And then that's how he, how he became famous. But I think that's how he became famous, bro. I think it's a freaking, uh, like, you know, you sell your soul. You think so? Yeah, 100%, bro. You got to do some mook shit. To, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, or some some against your morals. Yeah, that's what he did. Not everybody, but so you think like that was like his first step of like becoming famous. I mean that. Yeah, yeah. You think people really do sell their souls though? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. These like, things, yeah. like a well. good amount of people. Like I'm talking like like. Most I did. Of, I feel like majority. I say like eight out of ten. Eight out of ten of yeah. like the famous people. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like the ones that blow up. Yeah. That's Even cool. rappers and shit too. Yeah, no, no, no. I, some of them like instead it might be like kill somebody or something. Oh, yeah. or like that's, sacrifice somebody. That's instead of like being mook. Bro. Diddy was just doing that shit for fun though. Oh, he was just he had he did it one time. He's like, I like this. Nah, he was like, I already like this, and then got you know. Oh, he's like, like, oh, I can be famous and do yeah. This he was like, yo, time. we can use this nigga as a recruiter. So he was a recruiter. Oh, that's od. I mean, I do think I remember. I don't know if you remember that one Asian dude that uh, he's like a comedian. He's like a little, I forgot, something Lee. Bobby Bobby Lee. You know oh, Bobby? Oh, yes, my guy. Yeah, he was talking about how he was um, he was at a freaking event or whatever, and he went to the bathroom or something upstairs, and he's seen a bunch of people in cloaks and, like, candles everywhere. And he was like, yeah, let me back, let me walk out of there real quick. And he was just like, yeah, no, nah, I'm out of there. Wait, he was where, you said? He was at an event. like, a, like And you he know, just walked in and it was just... Yeah, like he okay. went upstairs, like you know. I guess you're not supposed to go upstairs. You went upstairs, like of the building, or whatever. And he seen there's like a like a ritual or some shit. I'm like, and he was just like, oh, that's kind of weird. And he just like backed out, you know, made a couple jokes. He was like, yeah, there's people upstairs like in cloaks stuff. Like you guys know about this. And then everybody just looked at him like, why are you why are you talking that? about that? And he's like, yeah. oh, this is what we're talking. About. This is what type of party is. Let me get out of here. I don't, yo, you know, stuff like that creeps me out. I ain't gonna lie because at the end of the day, right? It's like. A lot of people, I feel it, like, and there's a there's a small percentage of me that thinks that people are just saying that just to like create like a false like narrative of people selling it. So they're just saying that just to say it, just so it's like people could believe it, mm-hmm. and they might not be true. But at the end of the day, there is some weird people in the freaking world. Like there's like if you look at a lot of, I don't know if you've seen in the BT Awards the freaking uh, Will Smiths. Uh, he did like a performance that looked like a little ritual or something like that. Nah, I didn't see it. No, it looked kind of creepy. It was like um. It was crazy. It was with like a lot of the um the uh the Christian music people too. It was one of the two dudes. I don't know if you know Maverick City. There was a dude that he sings in Maverick yeah. City and he was with Will Smith and it was like uh I guess Will Smith was singing one of like the the uh, Christian songs, but like he walked out. It was like he was I think he was wearing red or it was red it was a lot of red mm-hmm. and there was a circle with candles and it was really dark and it looked kind of weird. And a lot of like the Maverick City fans and stuff, they were like looking at him like like, oh, this is, like, weird. Like, we're not listening to him no more because, like, now you look like he's, like, a devil worshiper or something. Mm-hmm. Because one of their, the people in the group was with Will Smith during that whole thing. I forgot what his name was. Jay, you know what his name was? It wasn't Marvin Sapp, was it? Chandler Moore. Chandler Moore. That's what his mm-hmm. name is, Chandler Moore. He was one of the, he's one of the main singers of, like, Maverick City, like, the little Christian worship groups. And he was there with Will Smith, and they was looking. They seen him. They was like, oh, nah, like, I'm not. That looks That looks crazy. sus. Like, that looks crazy. So I'm like, hey, you never know. Like, you see people like Rihanna wearing all red during her freaking halftime performance. Beyonce right. looking kind of crazy. And uh, Chris Brown be doing some wild stuff. I don't know. Maybe there's something behind all this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I got a question. Do you think LeBron sold the soul? No. Nah. You don't think so? He's the one. Hey, think about it, bro. He's the chosen one. Look, I look. He's the king. Look, if anybody sold their soul in, that, that is in sports... It would be Le- I feel like it would be Le- it would be LeBron more than Michael Jordan. Because think about it. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Think about it. Think I, about it. Because right? My life would be cooked here, but go ahead. Michael Jordan <laughs> He's like, yeah, he just yeah. sat, yo, people, he just sat up and he just turned his whole body yeah, to yeah, 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 I bet. You so, talk shit about Braun? Fuck out look, of look, so look, you know, Michael Jordan when Michael Jordan retired, the people needed a new face of the league. LeBron James comes in. This one high school kid had the the most expectations, the highest expectations. Literally, they said, if you don't make it to the Hall of Fame, you will be a bust. Mm-hmm. Hall of Fame or bust on a 17-year-old kid. First kid, 17-year-old to be on what? Sports Illustrated, whatever. Yeah. This, that, that, whatever. All right, bet. Let's, you know what? You're not going to fa- We're not going to let you fail. 
because you're going to sell your soul and you are going to be the face of sports forever, right? But all the accusation when he on steroids, all right, you may be like, oh, you're on steroids? Nah, we're going to hide that shit. We're going to hide it. You, oh, you, you can still take it, whatever, do all them drugs, nah, but it's not, we're going we gonna to hide everything. You're not, you're a cool dude, not, you, all, your whole outer life, whatever, you're not going, you're going to have a, a clean image. Mm-hmm. You're not going to be like Michael Jordan. You're not going to be like Michael Jordan gambling, drinking, uh, doing all this stuff, uh, betting games and all that crazy stuff. Nah, you're going to be wholesome dude. For You're going to be a freaking great teammate. This, that, not a great teammate. Like, you're going to have all these multiple business on the outside. You're going to be making bread. All that's not a third because you sold your soul and now you are at the head of all sports. Yeah, but that's exactly why he didn't sell his soul. Why? Because he's just nice like that? No, no, no. But, like, because when you sell souls to go up, he was already nice. In middle school, you didn't see a documentary. No, I did see in, a documentary. Yeah, in middle school, high school, he was already on trajectory to be the greatest. Yeah, but... And then before that, they needed a face, and it was Kobe. Kobe was the face. Yeah. Then Bron Bron came in, and it also was selling your souls, like, people to get ahead. So, people who sell their soul were never nothing before. Bron didn't need to sell soul to continue to be great. Oh, because he was already... He was already nice. on track to be great. But at the so same... That, and plus, also, the reason why he has no negatives on him, everybody who sold their soul has a negative on them. The part of the soul is there. You said what? Even Beyonce? Be- Beyonce, I she definitely has, but that's her negative is that she has a whole bunch of stuff. She looks like she worships the devil and all this stuff, uh, right? So everybody has that. Bron don't have none of that. I mean, Bron be pulling, posting up like this. And like... Bro, he's the one. Let me stop saying that. <laughs> he's the one. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm saying, but... And then, plus, they, they use that to get a catapult to go forward. And it that negative thing is attached to their image. Mm. Bron doesn't have a negative thing attached to his image. Uh, I don't think... Michael Jordan did did it either. I don't think so. But either. you think if any- anything, somebody who's already expected to keep going would never need to. Uh, they grab people who are desperate. So do you think to to to, to blow up or do something? Uh huh. So they can. All right, yeah, we need you to do this and whatever, and it's attached to your image as well. Uh, That's like your tattoo. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So do you think there's any like athletes that maybe, like, you you know what I think it'll be? I think it'll be like a soccer player. I don't think it'll be athletes because like. You also need athletic ability. Somebody like yeah. Sketch. Yeah. He does you need nothing. But I mean like like there's people with like bad I don't want to say bad. Every personality is likable. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But like he's just getting out there for people to see and people to enjoy. But what about like musicians and stuff? Like you gotta learn how to sing. That's what I'm saying. But like not necessarily. You don't even need to know how to rap. Oh, that is true. Nigga, look at Drake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that was a straight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like like uh sexy you red can, and all of them. You don't even need, you don't need how to rap, or sing none of that. You're yeah. a ghostwriter, you can do all that. Because oh, sing you don't need that. Travis because they aren't gonna push your music anyways. They're gonna push, right? You can literally. What's that dude? Uh, Quincy loves that nigga song. He was rapping with Drake. Um, what what skin tone? Skin tone is he? Oh, he's ugly as fuck. Oh man, I gotta remember a lyric. I don't remember, but he sounded horrible. Yeah, horrible, absolutely horrible. But if it's if it comes on the radio, and Drake says it's hard, it's hard. Ah, uh, if anybody says it's hard, it's hard, no matter what. I JJ Fish would have been perceived as hard if Drake if somebody endorsed him. Like, yeah, this guy's hard. Like Drake, like yeah, I be- oh because like and they keep uh, playing yeah. him. That's all it is. Hmm, Half of these rappers that be in the hood and whatnot sound like other niggas that are already doing stuff. But they just sell their soul. They don't have the platform. That's all. They just get the catapult with selling their soul. Yeah, some people use a catapult, or they don't have the platform. They get the platform. Wow, bro! That's, Not everybody, but some people. That's actually od, bro. I yeah, hate, bro. I just hate how it is, bro. I feel like this whole, this whole like system is all messed up, bro. Like even, I was even hearing about like, uh, I remember, I I told you this before. Like I was hearing like even the fans is kind of is getting crazy of like the yeah. higher people. Like, did you ever hear about like Chris Brown's like? Like serial killer stalker, bro. No, but she's like a. I think she's like possessed, bro. Like she's Rihanna. really bad. Huh? Is that Rihanna? No. Say oh, that. yo, cause that, Rihanna. Oh, you nah, it's like she actually kind of. Nah, she's like a like a hit version of Rihanna. Like like hit by a Mack truck hit like bad. But it's like she. All right, so Chris Brown has a stalker, right? Mm-hmm. Who is re- like crazy? Like remember you ever watch iCarly? Remember that one girl that she used to. She kidnapped him and like put him in the basement type yeah. of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that level crazy. Was she been killing people for no, Chris but she, Brown? No, but she'll go online and be like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, 
she she make she was like threaten him. She'd be like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, I will kill for to be right next to Chris Brown. Like all these uh backup dancers and managers, like, I'll kill y'all for real, bro. Like once like give me like like let let murder be uh be legal, but I swear y'all the first ones on my she list. She be posting it? She be posting it, bro. Like there's a whole video of her saying, like, yo, I like I wish the purge was real, bro, because y'all already know where I'm going. I'm like, what is going on? And Chris Brown between, like, yo, I'm actually scared, bro. Do you have a celebrity that you would no commit a crime for do i have a celebrity that, that you commit? commit a crime for huh that's a good question yes. <laughs> will i will i rob a bank for mellow no i don't think i i don't think i'll have i have a celebrity that i will commit a crime for do you have one i hope you don't is there a celebrity you would commit a crime to be to be yeah oh like their life yeah. will, will they know about it now you commit the crime and then you become them oh literally oh Shoot, I'll be LeBron. I'll I'll merc somebody for LeBron. PB ain't say Jordan. But word, I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be LeBron easy. Yeah, hey. I'll do whoa, so you would <laughs> you would do the same thing? Shit, if I was Bron? Yeah. Like Merc, like what's the like what's the Damn, most? What's the mo- <sighs> like what's the worst thing you're gonna do to be Bron? Like what is the absolute thing? Oh wait! I'll beat up a child. You will beat up a child. Yeah, like no heel. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Oh no, nah, I don't think I could do that, bro. Burn somebody's house down with nobody in it. Ooh, that's a good one. I'll definitely do that. I'll burn a house. I'll burn a crib down. I was thinking about burning a forest, but that's too many animals. I'll, <laughs> I'll punt somebody dog like a random. Like I'll go down the street. I'll see somebody walking the dog. If he I'll dies. Punt, I'll punt that thing. What if he dies? He'll be alright. No, I'll, I'll punt a big dog though. Like a you're not punting him now. <laughs> <laughs> now you're not punting. Like him. I'll like I'll punch I'll punt him in like the the, the rib cage, or I'll like. What else? What else would I do? This is crazy work. To, just to be Bron. This is what we're gonna do to be Bron. <laughs> to be Bron, Bron. So okay, well, how young is the kid? Are we talking about? Bro, I'll do a three year old. Three year old is crazy. Three year old is actually nuts. Yeah, yeah, you're old. actually bugging. Three year old. Mo- mo- youngest I'm doing is like 10, 10, 10 11, 12. One when, when of these kids at camp. Oh, you're wild. <laughs> no, no, it's like, nah. Nigga put a, it's like, a nah. face to it. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like, nah. He's, nah, it's he, yo, he coaches the 10, 12 year olds. By the way. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'll, I'll, I'll beat down like a 11, 12 year old. Think about it. Nah, you know, I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat down one of the 11, 12 like Taliban's. Give me one of them, bro. Give me one of them guys, or or the, one of the little one of the Nazi soldiers back in the days. And weren't they like young? I don't think they were that young. though. No, they weren't twelve. <laughs> <laughs> They're children. <laughs> they didn't even have a decision. They, they don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> you can't make a child look like it's worth it to beat him up. If you're gonna beat him up, stay. <laughs> If you're gonna beat the child up, you gotta live and die by it, bro. <laughs> oh, shoot. There's no way to make this right. <laughs> There's no There's way. The, I live with it. I chose three years old. I'm cooked. <laughs> you gotta own this one. No, There's no I way. Want to. There's I no can't, way I can't do three, bro. A boy. A boy, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Just to be Bron. Bro. Nigga, the headlock and tossing. I'll throw a kid. I'll throw a, I'll throw a five year old. Might land on his neck. He not gonna know. I'm gonna throw him like. Oh no, he gonna break his back. What do you mean? Be, you might be. You might break his skull because a three year old. They're not even developed. Yeah. No, they not. <laughs> My nephew three, bro. He good. Yo, yo, you are he, six eight. He be falling on the steps. Shit, You're technically. Bro. You really. You technically are Bron. Wait, am I still type me? shit? You heard what that nigga just said, right? <laughs> wait, wait. Am I still me or am I like turning into? Like, I am now LeBron James. No, like you. But I'm six eight. Your life morphs into LeBron's. So like, so I'm your still mom me. is still your mom. I'm still Darius. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, maybe I might beat that three year old. It got better. <laughs> I, ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. These are, yeah, yeah. Like your life just turns. Like everybody. Like, like it's still switches. instead of Savannah J. Savannah Savannah James. I got J. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm being that. Like your dad is still your dad. Like everything. oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna yo. Yeah, this, yeah, is yeah. Yeah, yeah. this is bad. Yeah. This is bad. Cause I don't really. Beat you got a kid though. I have oh that's cool, but his, like they, his they, name, but his name is Darius Latrell Ju- Watkins. Da- so Darius Junior. You have two kids, yeah, two yeah. kids, Darius Junior. and and uh Barth. But here's a catch: now you're forty. Now I'm forty. 
Oh damn, I'm bro. I mean, nah, I'm a billionaire though, and I'm in the league still. Yeah, and I I control my team. (laughs) Yeah, and I'm in the Olympics. Yeah, I'm doing that. Dang, that's crazy. Is there anybody else like you would do it for Drake? Nah, nah. Uh, hold on, there might be somebody in the world. No, no, there's definitely Mr. Beast. No, really, not Mr. Beast. No, he got bread and he make cool videos. Like okay, maybe the president of the United States. What? I'd rather be Mr. Beast than the president. Nah, if I'm the president, I could. You really don't do nothing. You want to be Biden? You eighty? No. Oh <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. You want to be Biden? You eighty years old can't talk. Maybe like a general. You rather be a general than Mr. Beast? Yeah. Why? I have same amount of money, same amount of power. I don't think you have as much. No, I don't think you have the same amount of money. Yeah, as Mr. but like Beast. this, I can obtain everything he can obtain. But now you're doing Mr. Beast. Really don't. I feel like he don't do much. Like he really don't have to. Yeah, but like now I can, I can still do what he does. What do you mean? You're a general. You don't got no. I have bread. You have bread, but you don't have like a following. I have power. Nick, I have an army. Fuck you, mean you? You, ha- you had to take orders from the big guy. You have to. Who's do- the big guy? The president? Yes. No. You can't just, you just send an army. Don't do nothing, bro. Fuck that. Lame I can man. honestly get an army better. I can. I can have an army to kill you before you can have an army to kill me. If you want, nah, to I kill- don't agree. What do you mean? What you, What are you talking about? You have about? the entire army. If I'm the general, you're Mr. If, Beast. If I'm Mr. Beast, I can pay. I have Marines, bro. I can pay for a lot of people. You can pay them. I have Marines. I have the number one military in the fucking world. Okay, you do. At but, my disposal. But now, they can't just... They, $43 trillion at my disposal. They just can't go and kill me. That's a crime. No, but you're building an army. Okay, but they don't know... They the don't, U.S. military general. They don't know that. I was a sneak attack. Yeah, there's no sneak attack in the general. <laughs> this thing is the most protected. <laughs> yeah. You can't sneak attack. Who the, the hell is the general? Oh, that's why. That's it would be me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, if I'm Mr. Beast, I can literally, I can hire like mercenaries that ex Marines. I can hire ex Marines. And I got now Marines. <laughs> you know the ex Marines are better than the now ones. No. You never watch Expendables? <laughs> yeah, was expendable. They flew a tank, bro. They mid. <laughs> Yo, they did fly a tank, bro. The expendables when they had the young guys, the young guys got captured, and the old guys had to save them because they weren't the protecting the general. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the regular ass niggas, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, if I had, if I was Mr. Beast, and I can, I can get an army in seconds. No. And I'm, I'm I'm getting an They're army not, from around the world too. I'm gonna get the Asians to hack your systems. I'm gonna get the I'm, no. I was gonna say something crazy. I, I was gonna get the Europeans, the Russians, the big dudes. That's we already got that going against us right now, and we're cooling. No, we're not. Yes, we do. We have all that going against us right now. China don't fuck with us. You said Asian niggas, bro. <laughs> then you said Russia. They don't fuck with us. You're come on, bro. We're already up, bro. But you have you can't just send out an army. You need the orders. Yes, the moment y'all start moving, you don't think CIA yeah. over here watching. <laughs> Come on, cuz lock in, bro. Lock in, bro. So you rather be a general than Mr. Beast? Yes, without a doubt. That's crazy. Without a doubt. That's so crazy. Bro. There's nothing that the general can do, can't do that the Mr. Beast can. Besides, like say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> wait, Mr. Well, Beast, Mr. Beast can't say that shit either. So, <laughs> so, wait, what well, the general's black? We have a black general. Yeah, but he still can't say the N word. We don't. Have, nah, there's no, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way we have a black dumb, general. That's cooked. There's no way we have a black general. I don't believe that. You would if it was me. Shit. <laughs> John Tuckman is But I'm telling you, if you miss the beast, you can literally, you just make videos. You got a, you got a burger company. You I got chocolate. I want to make videos, bro. I get the bread. Bro, I'm making bread. And I know how to fight. Mr. Beast can't fight. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the general like 75? He's not, bro. <laughs> he's not? <laughs> Who is the general? Who is the general? The general of what? The what army or? Like, there's like four generals. General... Uh, Marines and U.S. Uh, Marines. Let's see what his name is. General Eric M. Oh, he is black. Oh, he is black. Oh shoot, we're out. Oh, my dude is black. Oh, <laughs> yo, he a black dude. Nah, that's actually tough. Oh, he old as hell though. Ty, you can cook. He tough. T- he might. He be look like, like he'll fuck you up though. Yo, he black. We got a black general in the Marines, bro. So you want to be this dude. You want to be this goofy looking dude. Look like John Sally from ba- Bad he Boys. He don't look goofy. He look like he'll fuck you up. Bro, I really, I'll beat him up, bro. Look at this guy. Randy George. This guy look like he hate his life. He definitely got no kids and what, he don't got no life outside of that. He don't got no life. Out- but can you beat him? 
Huh? I could definitely beat this nah, guy. Nah, you can't. I can That's the problem. Dude. I'll beat the... That's the biggest problem. I'll beat this dude up. How long he been in for? He looked like he... How long he been in general? Dang, that's tough. We got a black general. Shout out America, bro. We moving in the world, bro. Dang. Why he in the history books? That's crazy, bro. He's not the first. He's not the first? They got it. Wait, let me see. Let's see first black general. When do you think the first black general came in? I think 2012. Black general. First. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, you're a light-skinned dude. Yes, sir. My brothers, bro. General Benjamin O. Davis was the first African American general officer in the United States military. General Davis served as an ins- as an inspector for the Inspector General and later as a special investigator with Judge William Hasty for the Secretary of War's Advisory Committee of Negro Troop po- Policies. Don't tell me he was a, he was a general for the Black Troop for niggas. <laughs> yo, what? He was a general for niggas. <laughs> no way, bro. I'm talking. Hey, yo, that's crazy. He's tough. Only oh, he a light skinned dude. He kind of looked tough. He looked cool. You cool, dude. Nah, he look like a bitch. Say nah, yeah. He I don't cool. like that. I don't like the the Hitler stash though. That's crazy. Yeah, the Hitler stash is wild work. That's bro. OD work, bro. Yeah. Hey, man. But oh, I like how we was talking about some crazy stuff because I got a question for you, Ty. Mm. So, let's build, let's build a starting five of immoral things we will do for a billion dollars. So the, the craziest things you'll do for a billion dollars, we're gonna create a starting five of that. All right. Do you want to have three or do you want me to have three? So think about we'll it. We'll go off of it. Okay. And then we'll so see now you have to think about it now. One. You have to think about it now because when you do this, you there might be consequences with this. This is like you're going to do the action. There might be consequences. So now you have to think about what's the worst thing you're going to do and maybe have to live with the consequences. But you will get a billion dollars. Right? So the one thing one thing I have is steal a walking stick from a blind person. In the middle of the day. I think that I won't really get in trouble. I'll get looked at as a terrible person. But once I do that, I'll get a billion dollars. I'm going to help millions of blind people. I'm get doing that shit immediately. Immediately? The moment they say, this is your task, I'm sprinting. Sprinting to find the first one? To the blind clinic and robbing a nigga of his cane. I might act. Okay. Okay. Let me actually, let me up it now. I'm going to pick up a blind person and just drop them off in a random location. <laughs> I do that and I, I'm not gonna lie I put that one that's a, I do that without a doubt <laughs> I don't even I don't even play I'm gonna just put him I'm gonna put him in like the mall he gonna be he gonna think he's in Times Square tell me to bring him on a fucking plane I'll, <laughs> I'll I'll bring his ass to fucking Ukraine but I don't give <laughs> Jump us off of fucking Yo, in Israel or Palestine. Or whatever nigga, I don't give a fuck for a billion. Yo, for a right. billion, okay, for a billion dollars. All right, so I'll be one. Do you have any other ones? You have anything um, that you'll do for a billion dollars and you'll live with the consequences? Uh, well, <laughs> this was not right. Ooh, I'm afraid what he's gonna say. <laughs> what are you about to say? Well, nah. <laughs> what are you going to say? If you have another one, go. Because I have kind of one, but I'm I'm cooking. I'm cooking. All right. right. I have, um, give a homeless guy something really spicy and don't give him no food or, like, don't give him no money or water for it. Like, just, like, have him sit there in pain. Just keep <laughs> like like I'll be like yo bro like the the the, the, the hottest, hottest chip, chip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah yo I got this hot chip you eat this I'll give you a hundred dollars he's like I bet and he, then not pay him and not pay him give him no water and just have him sit and then run away that sucks that's evil or I'll be like yo you hungry I got one what uh take a paraplegic's peg legs like his legs take his legs <laughs> yeah. just, just take the legs like like tell him we're gonna run a marathon <laughs> right. Go to the de- like say we're running far like running through like it's like a like a, a triple marathon yeah and we're in the middle like the Poconos running through, like up a hill or something on a hike <laughs> yeah take his legs and take his phone <laughs> and just leave him there <laughs> leave him there now he's like a crawling zombie <laughs> he's cooked yeah oh my god for Billy I for do that. Billy okay okay for Billy I do that all right I, I think all right so that's three right, that's three that's three all right that's yeah. three so we're gonna I'm a I think I'll I'll smack a toddler. I smacked the toddler already, so I s- what? Yeah, my nephew, like, screaming and shit. Like, like, like across the face. Like, yeah, 
Like OD? No, nah, I wasn't OD, OD. No, I'm talking about I'm winding back. Nah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> like... Or am I just like like a mean spank? Like, I don't think I'll get in trouble for that. You think? I don't think so. Like, I'm talking about maybe like five. Like, just like a mean... Like, that's cool. Like, a smack across the face. That's cool. Maybe... I won't like... Like, if you like... Take away black people's rights. Why would you say that? <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you say I'm not even gonna put that on there? Yo, we're going up. I, I'm not saying what you mean. We're going two up. No, I'm not putting that. I can't do that. I can't. I can't. I can't. yo, people, he's kidding. If you hear this, if you hear this, do not clip this at all, please. I know there might be some. I don't know if y'all clip. Y'all, some of y'all might not clip. Don't. Don't. I, he was kidding, people. I don't know what he meant. I don't know where he was going with that. That was OD. Uh, this? I got one. Okay, go ahead. Find three African Americans. Yes. And legally take away all of their rights uh-huh. and force them to work. Um for a bill. You know, you know, that could work. I wouldn't me personally, I wouldn't want to do that. But if there's like a serial killer in prison that don't deserve rights, okay. And he's black, sure. Sure. Uh I don't wanna put that that <laughs> I don't want to, okay, three, maybe one, Max. I wouldn't want three. I wouldn't want neither. But, um, yeah, uh, dang, that's tough. Uh, would you drop kick a kid? I mean, like karate kick? like Or like like stomp him? Like, ch- like full like bottom shoe to the chest? No, but I chase a guy in a wheelchair with a needle that has AIDS in it. Because <laughs> he really can't run away, so I'm not going to really poke him. But I'm like, hey, hey, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. He's gonna start going and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's a, Yo. yeah, yeah. Until he gets tired, like, I, I, he's gonna get tired for me. So like, I mean, Yo. Then, yeah, yeah, that's one. Oh my gosh, that is evil. That yeah. is funny though. Yeah. You know, I've seen that before. No, 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 no. I didn't see that before, but I seen like a like a like a dude in a wheelchair, like try to put a needle on his arm, and he couldn't do it. Like he kept rolling. He was like. That's how bad it was. It was in Philly, bro. Philly's a weird, yeah, a crazy Philly. place. But yeah, like, I seen that. I was like, ooh, wow. But I, I like that five. That not that that one part what he said. I'm I'm, put, I'm not putting that in the clip. I can't put that in the clip. But y'all can watch it if y'all want to actually see what he says. Put it in the Patreon. Yeah, I put it in the Patreon. <laughs> nah, this is already going on YouTube. We're cooked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not a Patreon episode. We're cooked. Yeah. We're cooked. We're cooked. We're cooked. But oh, you want you want to talk about that um that superpower thing, bro? Oh, the, yes. We can so, talk about that superpower. Have a game. Yes, sir. Play. Go ahead. I want the people in the comments to decide which superpower and consequence combination is better or worse. Right? Yeah. So I'm gonna give us I'm gonna say a superpower. He's gonna pick my consequence that comes with it. He's gonna pick his superpower and I'm gonna say his consequence, right? Yeah. All right. So you go first and I'll give you a consequence with your superpower. All right. So the superpower that I would want is um, teleportation. Teleportation. Let me cook. <laughs> let me cook. Let me cook. I can't let you like live for free. I can't that's right a now. great. That's a, teleportation is honestly one of the greatest we're, we're, powers. We'll do like twice or three times. Right, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. We got. We get. Go, we'll get a couple in there. Teleportation. This is off the dome ski too. I'm. Uh, I don't. I hope he says this one. I already got one. He's gonna get cooked. Every time you teleport, yeah, you get an injury, but you don't know what it is—a severe injury. Like I can torn like, ACL level. Oh, that's it. Like I don't. Okay. So you teleport somewhere. Yeah, you might tear a shoulder blade. Okay, that's not bad. Tear ACL. Ow! Every you, time. You might, every time you teleport. Oh. oh. So you can teleport. You can teleport directly to the fucking so hospital. I can, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So every time I can teleport ten times. That's ten injuries. Yes, ten injuries. So don't oh. teleport back to back. Don't tell you could teleport and get a fucking That's collapsed so lung. What? <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Go ahead. So you use that in dire emergency. You could teleport. It might be like a a grade three sprained ankle. That's gonna suck. But you could teleport and just jam a finger. I, I could I could teleport. But you can also teleport and break my and neck. Your eye falls out of socket. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Right. Okay. Right. But it'll never kill you, and it'll never like paralyze. It's just you. it's just pain. Okay. Yeah, but the injury happens. So like, you tear ACL, you teleport. You have to do the rehab. 
Wow, that sucks. And then say you get in a jam and have to teleport again, you could re-injure that same knee. Wow. Yeah, let me not go with that. I'm just saying that shit. Yeah. All yeah. Right. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Let all me right. hear your superpower. Uh, my superpower is... I hope you say this one superpower. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> my superpower is... Niggas are gonna think I'm weird, bro. You about to say some BS? No, you about to think I'm weird, bro. What? <laughs> but my superpower is, I am extremely precise at anything. Precise, precise and accurate. So if I'm throwing darts, I'll hit exactly where I want to go. If I'm shooting a basketball, I will. Go, it will go exactly where I want. If I'm kicking a, a, you know what I'm saying? I'm precise and accurate at everything. So your superpower is accuracy. Yes. If I'm shooting an arrow, shooting a gun, I'm accurate at everything. 100% so you will accurate. never miss. Never miss. <laughs> <laughs> I will I never bet. miss anything. I bet. I bet. I bet. All right. Dang, that's a good one. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, good luck, good luck. All right. Yeah. Think harder about your consequence. Um. Ah, this is gonna like um. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um. Oh. All right. Every time you're too accurate with something, like every time you really like you use your accuracy. Yeah, every time I every time I use my power, right? You have a every time you use your power, there's a little ball in your body. Every time you use it, it grows. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like a metal ball there's in my a, body. There's a little metal ball like the size of like a, a fingernail. Like right now, it's like like so it's, it's this super big. small, super, super small. Right. Every time you use it, it grows like a a little like a little like bit a each half time. centimeter, like a half like centimeter, a, like a half time. centimeter every time until it will eventually kill you. <laughs> like it will just like feel. I it. can't go to the league now. <laughs> like you can't. Every that is a really know. good consequence. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that is a really good consequence. Yeah. So every time, every time you every time you use your accuracy, every time you shoot a ball, I go in. Every time you throw a dart, every time you kick a ball, every time you do anything cool like that, anything accurate, that it's little gotta, ball is gonna grow. I just gotta go to the casino once and just it just go big. But what can I use? Nothing takes skill. <laughs> you can't even use that. You know what I gotta do? Go, you know, at halftime yeah. for basketball games are like, oh, if you make it, you get ten thousand dollars. You gonna do that? <laughs> 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 <You're> like, ah, like <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's gonna get crazy. Like you, you might forget, and you're like, dang, you have to, you have to jot down you know, how many times you use it. I'll play like KD, play one on one, bro. If I beat you, let me get a mil, a mil, <laughs> bitch, <laughs> bitch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's tough. I mean, wait, what's game two? Whatever he won. Like, oh, it can't be. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was game 21. That ball might be like that big. Cause I'm cooked. That's what I'm saying. Like, you might forget. Like, you might do stuff that might not be accurate, like, on purpose. Yo, I'm sitting here garbage, and I'm just like, no. Like, <laughs> 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 like <I'm just> <laughs> you, like, throw a ball at somebody. You had, like, a yeah. family gathering. You yeah. throw a spot. Like, oh. No, uh, like, no. I can feel it. Like, in my freaking ribs. <laughs> Yo, that's OD. No, that's that's going to be terrible. Because once just... it once it gets, like, a big-ass ball, now it's just sitting in your Cut body. Power. I really want to know what the comments say. <laughs> I, I really want to know what they think is worse, bro. That's OD. <laughs> All right. You want to do one more? You wanna yeah, do yeah, yeah. All right. Pick one. You, yo, I do, I'm doing like like normal powers. He's talking about 100% accuracy. What the <laughs> hell is that? You dead shot? Like, dead shot, not even 100% accurate, yeah, bro. I thought I could be brawn. All right, let me think. I'm going I'm to pick, pick basic superpowers, though. I'm going to pick, um, pick the super speed. I think super speed is pretty cool. You have super speed? Yeah. I'm going to pick super speed, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo, bro, this is so funny. For every single minute that you use your super speed, yeah, you lose an inch off of your height. Oh, an inch? Yeah, an inch? Yeah, it tweaked. Oh my, a minute? So if I'm running for, you can run for a minute. I could lose an inch. I mean, if I'm dang, how fast am I going though? If I can get to like, you can run light speed. Oh, that's cool though. That's light though. Wait, tell me, light speed. Yeah, not light speed. All right, wait, no, no, no. Uh, uh, let, let's run like like 
like uh like good amount. Speed of sound. Speed of sound. Okay, that's not bad. Like it'll take me like if okay, what But it accumulates, so you run for like five seconds? Oh, that's already my five. Yeah, and it Oh, and I only got fifty five seconds left. Yeah. Oh shoot. Yeah. Dang. Okay, that's actually cool. So don't be sitting here and you're like go downstairs and grab this. <laughs> Walk your ass downstairs. Dang. So I could, okay, so hopefully okay. Does it reset? No. Or, only when I, I oh. it never resets. And you know I hate being like I'm not short, but I'm normal human height. Yeah, but you getting shorter. You're cut. So I'm like you getting shorter. Oh my you god! Get, you getting shorter. No, no, no. Clothes. I would, not, I would not be able to do that. I can't do that. I would not run fast. Yeah, <laughs> I would not run fast. I would not run fast. Nope, nope. Oh no, nah. dang! He actually cooked me. That cooked was really the nigga bad. Power, bro. Wow. Um, All right, go ahead. Your turn. Please give me a simple power. Then you really cooked my nice ass. Power. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Um, you like. <laughs> Yo, bro. What are you going? I can turn invisible. Like what? Like things or not invisible. I can morph through things. You can morph through things. So I can go through walls, go through the floor. But I can <laughs> I can phase through things. That's my power. Okay. Yes. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to figure out. I know what I'm about to say, but I got to figure out how to make it like more funny. All right. Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. You can phase through anything, mm -hmm. but the only thing that can't phase through things is your man's. And it will take it takes a month to regenerate. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so like you walk through a wall, your man's like your meat is it's gone. No, no, it's not gone. It's like it fell off in the other room. <laughs> It didn't go through the wall. And it comes back after a month. <laughs> yeah, it comes back after a month. So like for like for like a week you have no meat. <laughs> for a week, like no like nothing. <laughs> I'm robbing one bank. <laughs> one bank. I'm robbing one bank and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping you said invisibility, because if you had said invisibility, I'd be like, yeah, like you have no meat unless you're invisible. <laughs> like <laughs> I was actually gonna say invisibility. I was hoping. But I was like, nah. Bro, if you was if, like imagine like you can't like no meat. Like so like right now, you're not invisible, you have no meat. But when I turn visible, I Yeah, so that means like you gotta tell the opposite. Yes. Yeah, so, so like now you gotta tell a girl like I'm gonna be invisible. Yeah, I'll be <laughs> it ain't my fault. Like you like, can't really You, you can't know, see like, me. Like this is gonna be bad weird for you. Like yeah. <laughs> like it's gonna be like like you know, uh what's that haunted the the haunted uh scary movie? Yeah when they she was having sex with a ghost. With the ghost. That's, that's, that's gonna be God. That's what I was I was I was hoping you said that, oh. bro. That is bad funny, bro. I cook. <laughs> Yo, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. That is too funny, bro. Oh my gosh. All right, bro. You want to go talk about? Um, you want to go read? Uh, react to a Reddit post. Let's do it. All right. So, people, we got something new to talk about on the podcast today. We're gonna react to some Reddit posts. You know, I got a. I, I found a Reddit post on Reddit and on TikTok, and we're gonna react to what the comments said about it. All right. So, the Reddit post is, um, where is it? Did I screenshot it? No. Um, well, the Reddit post is. What is the scariest fact that you wish you didn't know? So we're going to react to some of the facts in the world that I didn't know that was real. So the first fact or the first reply that we've seen was you cross you cross paths with eight to ten serial killers in your lifetime and you don't even know about it. I'm not going to lie to you. That's more. That's creepy. But like I can see that, especially yeah. be like with the people that we live in. We go to Newark. So there might be some killers that we probably really, walk past more. Yo, we walk past more, bro. At the end of the day, because what what counts as what is classified as a serial killer? I think it's like once you kill two people or three three people. I think it is three people. Yeah. So more than three. Yeah. Oh yeah, we definitely pass by way yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. I've we, dapped up more. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's od. Like just imagine, like, do you think you work? Like imagine you work with one. Because because like you know serial killer, like that's like the mentality. 
Like you like a sociopath too. So like that means like they just like look at you like yo, I could really like take this dude out. Like I'm not, like that I ain't gonna lie, there'd be some dudes I used to work with, like they'd be like, you know, the Indian dudes, like a little older. Yeah. They'd be like, yo, I remember one time he's like, Yo, Dad's like, we we should get a drink one day. I'm like, Nah. No. Like I like I'll kill you, bro. No, I, I ain't gonna do that. I'll kill you, bro. Like he a cool dude, he's my guy. But I'm like, nah, dude, you my work friend, bro. Yeah, you <laughs> You ain't gonna see me outside. There's no yeah. drink. Nah. That's O D, bro. I nah, bro. Yeah. Oh, another fact I've seen. There's a place in the U.S. where all crime is legal. Like, every single crime is legal. Is it really? Yo, there there is, bro. I looked this up. I never go there. It's like in... It's like on... It's like in the corner. Like, you know when like... Like in the like the Midwest, like West Coast where the Rocky Mountains is, like Colorado, all that. You know how there's like a little corner? Like, yeah. there's corners. It's like in between... It's like where Wyoming, Colorado meet. Yeah. There's like a little area where like murder and all that stuff is like legal. Like, you could mur- like kill somebody. It would be cool. I think it's like a district. I actually have a fact that I just remembered. What? Is a black hole can form anywhere. We mean anywhere. At any time. Like it can form here. Not in, well, not necessarily in here, but in space. Oh, in space? So right, a black hole can form right outside our atmosphere. Like just. And just like. like So at any moment in time, we can just cease to exist. Oh, that's scary as hell. And when I first heard that, I wish I didn't know it anymore. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, bro, so what's the point? That's what I'm saying. Like, like, I was like, what's the point? Like, we could really just be gone tomorrow. Get cooked right now. Like, literally, literally, you could be just sitting here and just, just we see could the, be like, yo, that shit was my. <laughs> like, like, you're done. Just, you're gone. So, like, I wonder how if, like, I, I'm you. I mean, we'll never know how it feels. But like, yeah. how it feels to go through a black hole, like black hole, like does like the Earth like start breaking apart, getting sucked in. That's what I'm saying. Or do you I just feel like, feel like a warp, like a like a, like, a, like, a, like going to a portal or some shit? Do you? F- yeah, like I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, you know when... It bends. Like, like you know when people... Weird. Like, you remember is that... Or is that so Raven when she used to have, like, flashbacks? Yeah, is that, yeah, Like, is that, like, how a black hole is? Like, you just, like, warp into saying. there? I think... I feel like... like I a, feel like it's max painful. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, you're getting stretched. Like, just... <laughs> I feel like... I don't know. I feel like <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm saying. And, like, I heard there was, like, a... I think in space... I think we lost some astronauts recently. Like, two of them. What do you mean? Like... Like we can't get them back down here, like you know. You ever watch that movie like Alone? Like when they yeah. like they get trapped in space. We're not space. gonna go get them. I think they're trying to figure out how to get them. Like they're like, I think something happened in the space station. They got like left lost in space. I don't. I think they're in a ship though. I don't think they're like Dolo. That'd be the scariest shit, bro. Um, every imagine you just. I lose my shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm flipping the helmet off. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Committing. Committing. <laughs> you crazy. You tell me just... Fuck it. Yeah. Wait, wait, D, wait, no. Nah, <laughs> I'm, I'm cooking. Are you kidding? Yo, Ty, you know how long it's going to take for me to die? You literally... I'd rather die from hunger than die in space. Like, from... Because your blood boils. Wait, you're talking about, like... If you just took your helmet off in middle of space? No, no, I'm talking about you, like, you hungry in space. Yeah, I'd rather die hungry in space than, like, lift my helmet off in the middle. Nah, that's quick. That's quick death. No, it's not. Your it's eyes not? come out of your freaking thing. Your blood boils. How long will it take? How long and you it? can't breathe in or out. Like, How? you can't go. Or, you, like, you're just like. So I'm just Like, stuck. you're stuck. It is painful. And it's like, yeah, you're OD. So now you just want me to sit in space, like, with no sound and just nothing and black? You got some music, bro? You on the spaceship? Damn, what, I, ain't, I ain't freaking. You got the bro. You got one one of the bros, bro. Bro, you are floating in the distance. I can't even get to you. I can't oh, even go like, like you're, we're going like just like this. Yes, bro. Oh. Like I can't even go like this to get to you, cuz. Oh. It's cooked. Like you're done. I'm t- Oh, that one? Yeah, I'm yo, I'm I'm, be, sh- I'm be like this uh, like Tyrone on 3, bro. 3. Shink. Like, I'm, I'm out of here, bro. I'm done. Damn. I you know how many times that probably happened? <laughs> nah, I cannot know. Nah, it definitely happened. One. No, 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 no. There's not that many astronauts in the world, bro. Nah, nah, hey, bro. That's why. Like, <laughs> I think it happened maybe one time. They just nah, I don't think it needed that, bro. Because think about it. If you tell somebody that, they're not going to want to be an astronaut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, yeah, so <laughs> just one. Maybe one. Maybe like a... Maybe not American. Maybe like a... Like a, like a Chinese guy or like a Russian, like they just got lost Nigga in space. Keeps picking fucking China, <laughs> this is racist. I don't want to say India. I didn't like, like. Yeah, I was gonna say India. India. I think India was like the last people that went to the moon. <laughs> I think they went to like the dark side, but like they didn't say what happened. They didn't come back. Hey, hey, I tell you, there's something over there. Um, what's another thing? Uh, oh, hold on. So another one I've seen. If a bear, if a bear attacks, it won't kill you immediately. It'll just start eating you. That's kind of crazy though. Think about it. Eating you alive is so like just imagine you just laying there, bear eating your legs. You can't even fight back. 
I mean, I would. He's just chewing you. are like, ah, okay, bro, you got it. And he just keeps chewing on you. Yeah, he's just chewing on you. Bro, kill me first. Like. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's not going for your neck, nothing. Like, you know how, like, tigers go for the throat and he stuff? my shit raw? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? It's the bear, bro. The bear eating my shit raw. I mean, technically, yeah. That's wild, bro. That's OD. Like, what if you, like, beat, like, what if you bite your meat, bro? And you have to stay you, alive. Yes, and you alive for that shit. Yeah, like you just you have to keep living. Yes, <laughs> and you, like, like that's od. Like he just he went from like he went to your legs and like he's just biting around you and he just bites like so like he's just and he's like I'm like, not tired ah. no more. He's like I'm not hungry no more. Just <laughs> like, yeah, just dip. Oh yeah, good. Because I heard I heard like I think polar bears are the only like are the one of the only like animals in the world that hunt that actually like hunt humans down. That would it's like polar yeah, bears, tigers, see. and like crocodiles. Because see a human though, him. Yeah, because I think black bears, they'll, the black bears eat like fruit and like leaves and stuff. Right. So you can scare a black bear. A brown bear eats meat, but eat like fish, and it's like it has other options. Yeah. But polar bears, all they have is ice. So all they eat they is meat. meat. Yeah, so if they see you, I remember. I remember Joe Rogan was talking about it. like they did like you know they they'll have they'll keep going on up and under. Yeah, water. yeah, get to you, bro. That junk is scary as hell, bro. Yeah, I think keep around. I think it killed somebody one time. Yeah, they killed plenty. Yeah, polar bears. People go to Arctic, they get. Murked. Bro, they freaking um there was a dude, I think he was uh like you know they do like those little um Discovery Channel things. I think he was doing a documentary for something, whatever. And I guess there they was on like an ice sheet and there was like a polar bear on one of the ice sheets they seen him. And the polar bear jumped into the water, jumped on the yeah. next ice sheet, waiting, jumped in the water and took a guy, drowned him, and brought him to the other ice sheet and ate him, and everybody just watched. That's OD, bro. Like that's uh, nah, bro. Polar bears is too crazy, bro. Thank God they be having them at last in Alaska too, bro. Like you can just be in. A, imagine you outside the bear. <laughs> yeah, you know hey man. Human. Oh, humans invented surgery long before they invented an- anesthesia. So there's people. There was people getting cut open, and there's no way. To, like there's ah ah yes, bro. Nah, that's OD. That's why I'm. That's why I'd be like scared to get like that's the one that's the scariest part about like living like back then as a slave as a sl- I mean I don't think they, they tested it on slaves oh yeah they did so they had to test surgery to be like hmm let's see what pain how do you fix a broken clavicle oh let's a try broken collarbone yeah look alright get a Jeremiah over here get <laughs> a Jeremiah over here <laughs> boom break his collarbone <laughs> 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 yeah, and they're like, all right, put him on the table. And then they cut. Now he's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> And then they mag. Yo, this thing is laughing, bro. Yo, no, he said, he said, boom. <laughs> yo, Cuz, cuz, I thought he was getting a raise. Yo, <laughs> yo, Cuz thought, probably thought he was getting a raise. He got hit in the, in the clavicle, Cuz. He, his shoulder hurt, bro. Like, ah, why and you do that? And then they start that? cutting him open, and they're like, ah, didn't work. <laughs> Let's try again on the next one. Get his other side. <laughs> oh, shit, didn't work. Get his brother. Like, oh, my God. That me is, too, oh, shit. <laughs> nah, that's OD, Cooked. bro. Yeah, that's that, the biggest thing I was scared I was, of. I used to watch... When did they come? When do you think they made anesthesia? Like you, I was ho- hopefully it was, it like was definitely 1900s. like like before World War One. Hopefully after 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 dang. So then people in the tents that was getting like the little like you know get the surgery they was just like cutting them open. <laughs> like, oh, that's disgusting, bro. Most, nah, yeah. I can't do that. No, two thousand people disappear without a trace every single year. That's weird. Okay, now I got I got a thing we I gotta talk about because that just reminded me about something. All right, you know, people get kidnapped, right? Okay, cool. There's a that's a trace. Two thousand people, with no trace. I think it's easy. What's e- like? How's that easy? All right, I just take a little trip down to uh, Nebraska. And do what? Oh, you disappeared with I'm no trace. Snatching nigga up. But like that's that that's kidnapping though. Like you you will leave a trace. You're not no, no pro. No. How you? What do you There's mean? There's no clues. There's no clues to me. I have no correlation with him, so I just drive down there. Yeah, right. My <laughs> alibi. <laughs> just snatching a random Nebraska. <laughs> random Nebraska is cooked. So look, I say AD. Um, <laughs> slew wow. pod today, right <laughs> at, at freaking ten. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, I gotta help my mom out with the crib. So if it don't, you know, what I'm saying I might be a little late. 
Yeah. I tell you when it's late, yo, I can't make it as late. <laughs> tell my mom I'm going to the pod. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or even better yet, I live by myself in Newark. And Ain't nobody just, watching my whereabouts. Where were you? I was in the crib and, watching a movie. And then you just make that kid, person go missing. Now, or he's, I snatch him. But like you, they bring him to the states. I mean, to the states to New Jersey. Yeah, dump him in Bayonne, in the river, right? All the water in Bayonne, dump him in there. But like, you don't think nobody's gonna see you, bro? No, I dump him. But like, that's bottom. what I'm saying. Like, what? How, like, you? Uh, you they're can't look for it. They're not digging. They're not going to the bottom of Bayonne but river like, for no reason. But like, the only way you're gonna, you can't just go to New, Nebraska and pick up a random person off in the gas Why station. Why can't I? They gonna see you. Who's gonna see me? The I'm gas going station the clerk. Night. I'm going to the middle of the night. I mean, no, okay, that got them. They don't have gas station clerks. They pump their own gas. Ah, uh, that is true. Yeah. I mean, that could work, but I think they do have security footage for that. So no, they don't got that. They're gonna see <laughs> you. They're gonna see you. No, but, but it don't even gotta be a gas station. It could be a nigga walking. See, the only thing you, you walking in the dark, dumb nigga. I ain't gonna lie. You'll do. You can. You can. You can pull that off if you get like hikers. You be or just get a nigga walking in the dark. That's it. Oh, uh, that's kind of true, yeah. Nebraska, remember, it's not like here. Yeah, it's like open fields. We'll do that shit in Virginia corn. if I really wanted to. <laughs> I, they, I they do that it's a lot. It's a little too close. There. Yeah, that is kind of close. I'll go to Nebraska, bring him back. I have no correlation between him and me. Uh, the whole time, just, I was just going for nine hours. What happened? I was tired as hell, bro. I, was, I went to the crib, took a nap, got up, watched the movie. Wow. I was at the crib all day. Why was up? This guy's sick. <laughs> this guy literally just came up with a whole plan of how these people go busy. Yeah, bro. But I, I actually, I was thinking of a, not really a theory, but I, I was thinking, I had an idea, not an idea, but I was thinking about what if this was true, right? Okay. So I looked up, right, since we were talking about missing people, I looked up what, like, what country has, like, the most kidnappings in the world. It's not America. America's not even top 20. But we are number one in the country for missing people, in the world for missing people. So that means million, like I think a million people go missing a year, or something, something, yeah. something of that nature. But We're like the third biggest country in the world. Yeah, Fourth? but it's like these people go missing, but that doesn't, we, it doesn't like, correlate with kidnapping. But city per like square mile, we're like the biggest because like, oh, more people in like a each small one area? of our states have at least two or three major cities. Yeah, that is true. So with that is like, why did he just? What did he just say, bro? Who barber shit? <laughs> two or three major major cities, right? Yeah. So with the two or three major cities now, there's people, different police forces. You go to the middle of the country, anywhere that's not on the outside near yeah. the water, those states don't have a big a good justice system. That's what I'm saying. So niggas get kidnapped and die, and it's but like they not but like do they even like when you when you classify as kidnap, right? Do you like report that in? Because these people are just vanishing, cause yeah, somebody reports it. Ah, uh, cause but the, yo, I haven't seen Tom in man long, bro. Oh, he went missing. Oh, uh, maybe we're just smarter than the rest of the world. Now we're privileged. <laughs> <laughs> What's that have to do with it? Like, we got we got bread. We can oh we got we got bread. We got people. We got people do yo of all sorts of sizes, like everything. You know what I think it is though. I think it's the government, bro. I think low key on the very. Very lowest the keys. I don't think it's true. I, I, I don't really this think it's true. Just hold up. What? I'm so sorry to cut you off. What bro. happened? This thing that just recommended me to have a woman cut my hair. Excuse me, <laughs> but I'm never. <laughs> Who? Steve said my brother goes to this barber. <laughs> he said it's American shave. That's what it's called in Kenilworth. <laughs> this nigga sending me to Kenilworth to get a haircut. Called you. American Shave. They about, they about cut your hair with scissors, cuz. He said, book with Mary. <laughs> she's an old giz, but he said she's valid. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> old white woman crazy. At American Shave? I'm going to Supercuts. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I'm good, bro. Nah. <laughs> that just blew my shit. I can't believe a nigga just said that, bro. Why do you like that? Why he sent you to, as a barber? He was sending you to marry. <laughs> this is American shave. That's great, yo. They was gonna cut your hair with scissors, bro. They was gonna go like this. <laughs> Rather go to Burnett Barbershop. Yo, honestly, what are you about? What are you texting them back? I said, Nah, bro. I'm not having a. F- <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> There's a woman here. 
I said, nah, bro, I'm not having a fucking woman cut my hair. <laughs> I said, not gonna lie, bro, I'd rather go to Bennett Barbershop. <laughs> Tyrone going on vacation, I don't know. He's not gonna be here for like a week. Yeah. But, yo, know, that is so funny, bro. He said, America, Jabe, and Kenilworth. You know, none of them people ever cut a black man hair. Crash out worthy. That's actually OD. That's at, for but you. Yeah, my fault. What are you saying, So, I think, very little, I think that there's a possibility the government is kidnapping people and using them for experiments. Because, right, the government and, like, the CIA got caught with stealing dead bodies and using them as, like, nuclear test dummies. Like, there was a time in, like, the early 2000s where I think somebody's grandmother died and they had their, her body sent to, like, the morgue or whatever and they lost the body. But it was because the CIA picked them up, picked their body up and used it as a nuclear test dummy. And they sued the... the I think they sued, like, the... I don't know if it was the CIA, but it was like some company, some by somebody worked for government, sued him. And then I think the CIA got caught with um stealing like dead babies, like premature babies, and using them for like experiments, I guess, because they're trying to see like what stuff like affects like human flesh or whatever. So they were using that. So imagine, right? They use they'd be like, you know, maybe a couple walking in the woods or whatever. I'm not saying they steal they take people like where we from. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about like like Virginia, mm-hmm. Nebraska. West Virginia, the people like the, the highly wooded areas mm-hmm. where you they can say like oh they just got lost or they just fell off a cliff, they could just scoop them up or whatever mm-hmm. and then just be like you'll never see them again, and then just use them for like oh let's see let's see how this sickness uh, goes on people. How does affect yeah, yeah. How does this uh, disease affect people? Like, oh like uh, what's that called? Uh, bio warfare, or whatever, chemical warfare. Do stuff like that because the freaking Japanese used to do that in World War Two. You remember that? Yeah, so they used people. to do that. They used to um. They used to put stuff in the in the water system of like a city in China to see how it affects like human beings. So imagine they just take them and then they use like excuses like aliens or like Bigfoot or whatever to like cover everything up. And that's why they're talking about aliens more to make people believe it more. Yeah. Because I ain't gonna lie, bro. There's a lot. There's no way people just go up and missing and just disappear. And a lot of times, right, people would disappear like from the woods and they'll be like their bodies would be dropped off like three miles in another direction. And they'd be dead. Like, it's like, how the hell you get here? There could be a nigga buried in your backyard. You had no clue. Yo, that's a... F- I ain't gonna lie. That is really true. There could be a... I ain't gonna lie. At Weak Wake Park, there's probably so many dead bodies over there, bro. It's yeah. not even funny. Like, yeah, OD. OD, OD. Like, OD, OD. OD bro. They're, they're not gonna look unless they have a reason. So. Bro, like, I heard there's mad... But like, because you know the mafia used to be in Newark and stuff. I heard they used to, I don't know. I wonder how deep that, that uh, lake is, though, in Weak Wake. Is it deep, probably? I don't know. Because I heard they used to put... Be. They used to have bodies in there, though. Probably like I wouldn't be surprised. Bodies. Like they used to bury bodies, they used to put them in the water. So I ain't, I don't know, bro. It's crazy. They probably that's probably you know there's probably mad bodies in the Hudson, bro. Off of uh what's it called where Jersey City is or by the Newark Port, bro. They probably dumped mad bodies over there. It's yeah. Crazy. And you know I also be thinking like like you know those crates when you go when you're driving to Newark and Jersey City. Uh, uh, the big metal shits. Yeah, the big metal crates. Yeah. I be thinking like, yo, what if one crate there's like pe- only only dead people? Not dead people, like like traffic people in there. Probably it's like probably I like like one to smuggle. Uh, yeah, out out of like there's like thousands of them in there, so there gotta be one. But you know, you ain't gonna they don't open that shit. I'm so saying, I feel like yo, and I feel like like the Americans, bro. I heard I be hearing a lot. Like I think we're the ones that be like taking the kids and put them in like human trafficking, like the either the government or like high officials because it's like you make we'll make money off of it. Cause you know mm. we're Americans are sick people, bro. Like I was watching like a video. Of like um of like a I think it was like a army veteran or whatever and he was talking about like the border and how like the cartels the ones that be trafficking all the humans but the Americans know about it like the government knows about it but mm-hmm. they do it they let them do it because it's like it's bringing in money because we are mm-hmm. like we are the highest we are the like with like child corn we are the most like the United States watches the most the most of that you got a lot of pedophiles over here yes like they don't have no pet like there's not really a lot in other countries say Drake I'm sorry yo <laughs> hey man. Wasn't he on that yeah. thing, bro? Yo, me and Jay be looking at the uh the cha- the uh, what's that list called, Jay? The the sex offenders list. Have you looked for at for fun? Yeah, because we gotta see where the, the sex offenders at, it's bro. It's kind of funny. I, what if you see a nigga you know? That's what I'm saying, bro. Like I checked in we don't got none in Union though. I might have to tap it. Wait, we don't have any that live in Union? Not like in my like in a one mile radius where I live, it's mostly like hillside. There's like I, I think there's like two. But it's mostly like they'll be like Jay got like a bunch. Jay got like twelve by a crib. Yeah, it's a fucking like, city. Like like a half mile radius, yeah, twelve, bro. That's crazy. 
<laughs> 12. Look up the dorms, like, by, by Rutgers. Rutgers. No, it'll probably be OD. 30,000. Yeah. Because think about it, like, you could be on the sex offender list for having, like, sex in a car. I heard that like, that's a thing now. Yeah. Like, if you get caught, like, you can be put on the sex offender. Like, yeah. That's kind of crazy, though. Like, why? Like, I mean, does that even count? Like, now you're, like, put with, like, pedophiles and, like, it's wild. Like sex offenders, like that's a, that's a little that's that's a little steep. It's they wild. did too much with that. It's wild. They did too much of that. Nah, I don't I don't agree with that one. It but wild, let me see what other ones I got. Uh, oh yeah, that was the last one I got. But yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of crazy facts I didn't know was true, but that didn't creep me out, man. So I got a little story for you. Yeah, go ahead, man. Right. So I don't know if you heard about this, but yeah. something that um, an idea that was proposed to like the government in terms of people for jail. Yeah. So. You know how people have, you know, in America, the uh, disciplinary system, the whole prison system is really bad. Yeah. It messes with people's mentals, too long. They don't really help people. But they're trying to develop something like, you know how Elon Musk is doing the little brain chip thing. The Neuralink, yeah. Neuralink thing. So they're talking about doing a thing where they, like, you know, put you to sleep and they have you in, like, a co- not a coma, but have you sleep for, like, 10 to 30 minutes. And it feels like, because you know how your dreams are like six mm-hmm. seconds long, but yeah. they, it feels like a life, like mad long. Yeah. But it feels like 10 years, but they keep you in that same dream. But then they can also orchestrate that dream. So what they're doing is put you in jail for 10 years, in your, but it only takes 10 minutes. In your mind? In your mind. Nah, time out, time out, time nah. out, time out, time out, time out. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So And they can they can depict what goes on in your dream? So what the dream is. And orchestrate exactly how it plays out. Yo, that's now a- the scary part is, say you and what it does is to like instead of having you actually serve ten years and you like, say you have a daughter and she does it, you know what I'm saying? You may come out like, yo, I don't want to go through that. I don't want to do it. Whatever that's cases, smart, right? But crazy. But what happens is, say you go out and you come out those ten years and you're like, and you're like, damn, okay, good. You walk outside and get framed for something else again. Yeah. Now. And you go back for another 10 minutes, another 10 years. Yeah. That's 20 years that you felt like you lived in jail. And it's only 20 minutes. They can spam you. Oh, and my God. And also, say somebody steals it. Yeah. Say I steal that, like... The device? Like, the device and the software and all that, right? Oh, my God. And kidnap you. You're done. I only need to kidnap you for 10 minutes, bro. Literally. And you will be tortured. Bro, imagine... Oh, my God. I would not want to be in the army, because... Or, like, in the, in the CIA, if I get captured, the <gasps> Taliban get me? Be like, yo... That's gonna, the worst torture gonna, ever. You're done. Yeah, Yo, we're gonna put you in. We're gonna put you in Mind a jail. fire pit for five years if you don't tell us where the president, Yo. what the coach of the president's room is. Then they put you in there for five years. You come out. Wait, is it's not real? Do you want to do it again, bro? They can put you in a simulation where like you they they think you free and then like you just keep reliving. Oh my god! Like you keep reliving. Like your you're wife, out. Oh well, you your made wife it out. Trust on me, you we saved you. Like imagine, right? They'd be like, "Oh, now nah, you, now nah, like, uh, oh yeah, you get set free, and then you go back to your wife, not nah, getting railed by three dudes, and it keeps repeating every day <laughs> for ten years." <laughs> yo, you're cooked. I ain't gonna lie, that's cooked. I keep trying to kill myself. Yo, that's what. Yo, <laughs> you know what that is? That's like that's like the Black Mirror episode. They had a Black Mirror episode. Like that? Yeah, bro. There was a there was like a it was a couple that I think. Boy. So I think the couple killed somebody, did something either no, they kidnapped the kid. Yeah, and. So the, the the episode starts off with like there's a girl and she's being chased by a murderer. Right. And the murderer's trying to kill her. Right. And like everybody she's like, Help, help, help. And everybody just has their phones out like this, recording. She's like, What are y'all doing? Just help me. And he's like breaking down the doors, throwing stuff at her. And then she gets into like a little she runs into a room and she sits in a chair. She's like, Oh my gosh, I'm free. And then the the stage comes up and then everybody's like clapping, like, Yeah, yeah. And then the guy comes out, he's like, Well, look at you, people. She finally figured it out. Like she's been living yeah, in a simulation this whole yeah, time, yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about and it's yeah. like so she's like living, reliving that same moment because she freaking did a crime and she's doing that for ten years. So every so every time, so that same event, like she's gonna be chased, and then she ends up yeah. in that same chair every single time, and then they'll tell like, yeah, you're stuck in the simulation for ten years, and then they're like, all right, see you again, bop, and then it starts over, and it just keeps going. She keeps forgetting, keeps forgetting, and she keeps going because that's her jail, bro. I'm like, nah, I ain't gonna lie. They really proposed that? Like, that's a thing? I think, I, that's why I saw on Instagram. Was, hey. Yo, that's crazy, bro. Like, you could really, that, it's cr- That's real Joe. <laughs> no, that's real Joe. Because I'm thinking, like, you could, I'm thinking, like, you just, in your mind, like, you're, you're mentally in jail. Nah, they can make whatever they want into Cookie. your mind. 
And cook you. They can have you just like in war. Like imagine like a war started in America and like you just, you think you're fighting for your country. Now you, you're tortured. Now you're double tortured. Like <laughs> that's OD, bro. So D. Nah, that's kind of yeah, sick. You seen that lost me, bro. I don't like this new technology stuff. I don't like that. Yeah, that's that's getting too it. that's getting too freaky, bro. Like that, like imagine, imagine. Oh dang! Imagine I'm one of those guys, and I'm stuck in it right now. Dang! Hopefully I'm almost done. He's <laughs> clicking. You wake up. Oh my gosh, bro! Yeah, he's hopefully almost. I just done. I just don't don't want that to happen because God forbid that get into the wrong hands, bro. You you cooked, bro. That gets like imagine that gets like sold worldwide. Like somebody steals it and then like mass yeah. produces it. Yeah. Bro, you're cooked. You can get <laughs> yo, You're done for. It. Yo, you can put your kid it. in timeout. Have him sleep and just have Oh my god, that's good teaching though. You gonna hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I would not nah, I don't like that. That's kind of crazy though. Where'd you see that on TikTok? No, it's on Instagram. Oh nah, One bro. Who 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 freaking proposed that? Elon, bro? I don't know. Some some Nigga, I don't know. I don't know, I, bro. Let me look. I don't remember. Hold on. Elon been tweaking, bro. Elon been, been tweaking. tweaking. Is he still trying? Is he still trying to get us to Mars, bro? He not getting me to Mars. Are he they trying still, to get to Mars? Are bro. they I'm still trying, Mars. bro? I, I, mean, I think he. I think he is, because he has hella shit in motion. But yeah, I don't know. You know what I heard about Mars, bro? Niggas, I remember people were saying that Mars used to be like the real Earth. Did you ever hear about that? Ways to send his matter accept it and plan a little bit. What's that? Oh, you found it. Triggers remorse and regret. Oh yeah, it memories that. Oh, Hashim out. That's something they they'll probably start in Japan, cause. A scientist is working to make it happen. That scientist, he they gotta protect him at all costs, bro. Hashim Al Gahi. What's that Japanese guy? Nah, that sounds Muslim. Muslim dude. Oh nah, he, oh I was about to tweak. Let yeah, me not do cooked. that. Nah, but you 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 ever heard what they said about Mars? They said Mars. They people think like Mars used to be like the Earth before Earth. Yeah, because it's like like they found like a chemical on Mars. It's called xenon or whatever. Yeah, and it's like that chemical only comes out after like a nuclear explosion. Uh, so people think like and like it's all over the atmosphere. Big war. So people yeah it. people think that there was like a nuclear war on Mars and like we blew blew ourselves up and like right before like everybody died like a spaceship came out. And like sent like a pod to Earth, and that's what killed the dinosaurs. I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, that that kind of makes a little bit of sense because like think about it, like Mars is the closest thing to us, like not like distance wise and yeah. like like how the Earth the is, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they they said there was water on Mars, yeah. And like I was always thinking like, why don't we ever put rovers on any other planet? And they said like I looked it up like every other pl- like you can't physically put something on the planet, yeah, it won't be able to like it's up. gas. So I'm like. You tell me I could just walk through Saturn, like it's nothing. It's a gas giant. It so it's literally just gas. Gas and heat, yeah. So it's just a hot, hot bubble, basically. Yeah, a bubble, oh, dirty bubble, a dirty, literally the dirty yeah, bubble. Yeah. So I'm thinking, like, I mean, I don't know, maybe that's that could be a stretch, but I don't know, bro. It's just, I, it just weird, creeps me out. Like these guys are so fascinated with Mars, bro. Especially Elon Musk, bro. I think yeah. he knows, bro. Yeah, he I think knows he knows, him. bro. But hey, man, you want to get into the. Uh, you want to get into the sports segment of the pod, mm-hmm. bro? Yeah. So, people, like we said, we are sponsored by Prize Picks. Use code No Regulars at checkout when you first sign up. You get a hundred percent back deposit for any deposit up to a hundred dollars. So, if you put a hundred dollars in, you get a hundred dollars back. You know what I'm saying? If you get put fifty dollars in, you get fifty dollars back. You know what I'm saying? That's all, bro. Shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring us. You know what I'm saying? Use code No Regulars. N O R E G U L A R S. So. Because we are sponsored by our prize picks, we got a, I have a sports guessing game for Tyrone. It's called Guess the Hardest Sport Based on Difficulty Level. So I looked on ESPN. I looked up the, there's a top, they ranked all 60 sports, one through 60 on difficulty levels based on like how hard it would be, like how much you have to work out, how much you have to lift, how strong you got to be. And they basically made a BPI ranking system. And I want you to, Say you have to figure out which one is the hardest, and you basically have to cross out whichever one you know that isn't the hardest. And every time you cross out the right one, you get a point. But if you cross out the one that is the hardest, then you lose. Okay. All right. The last two people almost got a clean sleep. Clean sleep. Nice as fuck. Bro. All right. Let's see if you figure it out, bro. So we got. Oh, actually, let me let me read it to them. Oh, wow. So we got rowing, bowling, table tennis, basketball, boxing, lacrosse, long distance track and field, hockey, surfing, and football. What do you think is the hardest sport based on difficulty? 
Let me hear, bro. Let's see if you number nice. one hardest or is the easiest. Like it's the hardest, like the absolute, like hardest based on that scale. So crossing off the hardest first. Uh, not the hardest. Like what you think is not the hardest. So if it's like, if you don't okay. think, if you don't think like fishing is the hardest, you cross that one off and you get a point for that. Please don't we belong together? In times getting rough. Do you want? You need a pen. Track long distance. Long distance track. All right. Safe answer. That's four. There was. That was ranked number 40. That one's cut. That one's pretty hard. Yeah, this football. is hot. Football. Football, ranked number three. You get used get, close. What? Well, football's ranked number Why three. so close? Yeah, that was OD. Bruh, if you're fast and strong, you're good. Because um. <laughs> you got to think about it. I guess it's like um. physically demanding. Rowing. Rowing, 39. Ranked number 39 in the group. Also got to think about, like, rate of, like, getting injured, things of that nature. Bowling. Bowling, ranked 57, near the bottom. Actually the greatest ever to this. <laughs> um, Almost there. Table tennis. Table tennis, 47. Kind of the best to ever do it. <laughs> um, basketball. Basketball, four. Okay. Ooh. Ew. Just wanted to get it out of here. Now we're in the danger zone. Now we're in danger yep, zone. Yep, this is the this might be the hardest for. Let's see if you got this, bro. Hockey. Hockey number two. <laughs> Woo! He, got, he cooking. I ain't gonna lie. He cooking. Tyrone cooking right now. Now nah, he's just down to boxing, lacrosse, and surfing. The hardest sport based on difficulty. Boxing. Is that your final guess? Yeah. Ah, uh, you got it wrong. Ty. That was the hardest one? Boxing is the hardest sport. <sighs> I was thinking. Look. I knew it was one, one of these three. I was worried because football was number three. I'm like, what? Or four. Yeah. I was like, then lacrosse got to be up there. What was lacrosse? 14. What? Yeah. But football? All right. Anyways. And then surfing, I'm like, that's a lot of skill. Like Surfing's 23. Gay. <laughs> so it's basically... I guess they rank it based on like injury wise too, and like how much you like physically demanding. Because boxers, you gotta be in really good shape. Yeah. So like, and you're they, getting concussions. And you're getting concussions all the time. You're li they're literally aiming for your head at every moment yeah. that they can. Yeah. Like so, it's actually pretty difficult. But hey, this segment of the podcast is sponsored by Prize Picks. Shout out to Prize Picks. Use code No Regulars at checkout to say, to get you 100 percent cash back for any deposit at a hundred dollars you know what i'm saying code no regulars capital n-o-r-e-g-u-l-a-r-s shout out to prize picks you know what i'm saying yeah but i got another thing we could talk about ty um so i got a question for you fight breaks out on the court nba basketball game nba all-star game a yes. brawl goes out a brawl happens okay. who do you think is walking out untouched or walking out of this okay the fight is between Ron Artest, Dennis Rodman, KG, and Zach Randolph. Who was walking out of that alive? Ron Artest. So, Kevin Garnett is actually a pussy on the inside. Melo tried to fight him um, after a game when he talked about his wife, and KG pussied the fuck out. Um, so, <laughs> KG, get him up out of here. Uh, Dennis Rodman. I think he's very unpredictable. He's up there. But I don't think it's coordinated enough, right? Ah, uh, you think so? Meta World Peace actually box. You know what I'm saying? Meta World Peace is from New York. You know what I'm saying? He don't play that. Meta World Peace is actually... I don't think Dennis Rodman actually has hands. I don't think so He's aggressive. Yeah. And will crash out, but yeah, I don't think he has hands. I don't think he beat Zebo. I don't think Ron is being Zebo. Wait, Zebo's Oh, Zebo's in there too? Yeah, Zebo's Zebo's rocking. Zebo is just too big. I think Ron Artest is going to be in better shape than Zebo. But... You got to think he's still they're still NBA players. We're talking about in their primes. Yeah, still chess. He's faster, but like I'm talking, they just swinging, cuz he's swinging. They he's gonna, gonna keep. Yeah, he's Ron Artest. I, th I think Zebo rocking him, bro. I, I think he's gonna. Like, I don't think he's gonna catch him. He's gonna weave before he hit him. I think Zebo eating his punches though. I think Zebo got a chin big, on him, bro. It's a big thing. He's the he's the one that bullied the bullies, bro. You remember when he said that? I'm, but Zebo wasn't really. He wasn't like fighting. He was physical and, uh, you know, an enforcer, but he wasn't really 
punching niggas. But I feel like if he did, Ron Artest was punching niggas. I know he was. But I feel like if Zebo, I feel like if Zebo wanted to punch somebody, he would really rock him crazy. I, I think in a brawl, he's gonna be more passive first. Ron Artest is gonna be. More no, I don't think so. you think so. I think Zebo in really, an actual brawl, I, he's gonna try and break it up first. Whereas all of these other people are gonna be like, I want to fight too. Really, you not think that he so? won't fight, but I think he's gonna be like, yeah. I think Zebo. Zebo wasn't really known for being a menace to like start fights. He didn't really get suspended for fighting. Uh, all these people got suspended okay. for fighting. Okay, if you can rank like. The best, who has the best chance to the worst? Who do you think will be? Run our test, Draymond Green. No, I mean, out of this four. Why Draymond? Where did Draymond? Lisa Draymond. No, Dennis Draymond? Rodman. Oh, my bad. Lisa Draymond. No, no. Run. <laughs> I was like, where did Draymond go? He actually just crashed out. <laughs> um, Ron Artest. Yeah. Dennis Rodman. Really? Dennis over Zebo? Zebo and then KG. I'll put Zebo. I feel like Dennis Rodman is just unpredictable and I, like he just like start swinging weirdly. Like I don't think it'll be too crazy. I feel like you hit Zebo in the face too hard, he's going to feel it. I don't think Dennis Rodman will feel it. You think so? Yeah. Wow. I don't know, I think man. He'll feel it. That's a good that's a good question. I don't, I really don't know. I think on all honesty, I think Zebo is walking out of that cool and like he walking out thugged out. That like, nigga's fat. You know I don't like fat niggas, bro. He not, bro. He big boned, bro. Fat. He big bone. He like eating. Name one dunk he had. He fat. Had, he definitely dunked on somebody, bro. He's fat. He's fat, averaging twenty and ten, bro. Fat averaging twenty and ten. Fucking nuggets to dips. Yo, that's <laughs> fucking sauce. That fat ass. Like, nah. <laughs> Yo, he just nah, started I love tweaking. the junkyard dog. I love junkyard. Come on, bro. He's, he's... Hey, bro. Oh, I got another question. Who do you think is harder to guard? Shaquille O'Neal in his prime or Steph Curry in his prime? Shaq. Honestly, I think Curry, bro. Because you got to think about it. You got to run around catching that little dude. Me, me, Like, think about it. Shaq, you just got to worry about, you know, like, oh, all right, he's going to going. Shaq is going to hurt more. But Curry, you literally got to run around, chase this dude around like, there's no tomorrow, and he don't stop running, and he's just going to chug it up there. I, he's going to bring it up half court, drilling him out. Maybe it's just because I'm a guard. I've seen I that before. I think because Curry needs other people to do it, though. But, like, he could make an offense around Curry. Yeah, you just need bodies, but he's running off screens. Yeah. Take away the screens. You still Curry's run. still, you're still running, but you're going to be able to stay with him. You're going to be able to stay with him. Nah. If you get an athletic guy, you can stay with him. But I'm talking about Shaq. Talking Shaq about- doesn't need help from nobody. Clear it out, give it to him in the post, kill. I think I could front front the post on Shaq. You, they tried that. No, no, me, me, <laughs> me. I'm fronting that. You're super cooked. Look, look, give me. He's gonna catch a lob while you're fronting. All right, this is what we're gonna like do. Like and dunk it, like. <gasps> like this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> like he's gonna, <laughs> this gonna do. I'm front. Lob go up. I need. Give me uh Hakeem behind me. But now, or Yao, give me Yao. Now you're asking for help. I mean. I did my job. You know but what we used to but tell now you're asking for help. That's what they told me well, to Curry, do. Curry, you don't need help. If there's no screens involved, you don't need help. Yes, you do, bro. Because like, you still got to guard him. He's dribbling. You still got to guard him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You but still- I think you have a better chance of guarding him moving laterally if you're so tight to him. You think? No. Then bro. Shaquille O'Neal. There's no shot. Bro, are you, I mean, maybe because I'm a If I'm there's a guard, no screens involved, no shot. Bro, I'm a, maybe because I'm a guard and I'm, I know how it feels like to guard some quick but ass you've, dude. you've locked in for possession and got to stop on chase before. I know, and that was hard, bro. I, you know, I hated guarding Tyler, saying, bro. No matter how hard you work, you cannot stop Shaq. But I feel like it can work out, bro. It, I mean, it's oh, seven two. When in doubt, just foul three seventy. Him. When in doubt, foul, cause it does. It does not matter. They tried that, <laughs> and he won an MVP. Nah, I think. Oh my, I think. I think it's up there. If anything, it's fifty fifty, bro. Nah, Shaquille, bro. You think so? Yeah, it's it's too hard. Threes are more than twos, though. It doesn't. That doesn't mean anything. What do you mean? Don't mean nothing. He's scoring more. On threes, me. threes could be more than twos. But now, with you playing him, you foul Curry more times. He's gonna miss him. Right now, you foul Shaq. He's dunking. It's three seventy, <laughs> two hundred pounds more than you, bro. Two hundred, not one hundred. Two hundred. He's going through. It's over. Okay, if you if you're guarding Shaq, how much is he scoring on you? Five thousand. No, I I mean actually, <laughs> <laughs> how he score in a game? In one game. You're on a, all, your main assignment. That's your main assignment. You might go up for like 74. <laughs> I was dig. I was going to say Curry going to hit me with 60. Because I'm saying, bro, I, I that's think, a lot of running, Ty. You don't, like, I, you don't understand. 
I gotta run through screens, cause yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Take away the, that's why I say Shaq is harder, cause Curry needs the screens. Even if it's, he don't need screens, even if he ha- what if he has the ball in his hands, he is dribbling all this crazy. Then, I gotta get through the screens. Then I think he'll give you thirty. Nah, he's giving me like fifty, bro. You're gonna deny. You're gonna smother. You're gonna stay. He's still gonna. He's still gonna work. He's still strong. But I still think he just gives you thirty, maybe oh. maybe forty. But Shaq gives you ninety five. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know. Homework is imagine a little kid guarding you at camp. <laughs> How much are you having in the post? I'm going to work. You're having hundred. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think Shaq's gonna do? He's equivalent. <laughs> an end jack kid guarding you. Is equivalent. It's that's literally that's crazy. Shaq really have a grown man looking like this, bro. Exactly, bro. That is wild, bro. All right. So I got a would you rather question, bro. So would you rather for a million dollars have every person who ever lived come back to life for five years or have every animal who ever lived come back to life forever? What one, which one would you rather do? Choose wisely here. Cause there's a lot. You wanna know what I would do? Yeah. I'm picking the animals. Oh, good, because I wasn't going with animals. Why not? I'm going with the people. I wanna see how um George Washington, yeah, Obama, and Hitler have a conversation. You just want that like you just want them at the round table? Yeah, I just I just want to podcast with them three. That would be hard. That would be hard. Because George gonna Washington's lie. gonna be like the fuck is this nigga doing as president? Because <laughs> Obama's black. But then at the same time, Hitler is like, <laughs> what he you- wants everybody dead. <laughs> and Obama knows both what, you know, like, listen, it's okay. Black people are cool now. Shut up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then he, then it's going to be Hitler and him jumping. But then George Washington is going to be like, wait, no, bro, you're a fucking mass fucking Murderer. genocidist. You know but what I'm saying? I don't saying? think he knew Hitler. No, he didn't. But when he finds out who he is, wait, who are you? I'm the leader of Germany. You know what I'm saying? And he does that shit. And he's like, and he's like, oh, so what do you do? I kill Jews. Like, <laughs> yo. Now I was like, wait, but who, do you, who does George Washington side with? <laughs> he said, who so, does he side with? Nah. In his mind, a slave or a mass uh, murderer. Ge- uh, leader of the genocide But I ain't gonna lie We're not gonna live That long in that world If you wanna be honest Genghis Khan alive Genghis Khan We got Jeffrey Dahmer And them alive again I'd rather the animals Yo I can get a pet dinosaur Cool Give me a pet raptor Do you know who else comes back? Who? The entire um, Military I don't want Oh shit I was at the tweet We're protected now <laughs> I mean <laughs> Yo I mean, bro, think about it. I can have a pet. I can have a pet little baby. Velociraptor going to fly through your window. That's what I'm saying. That, no, no, no. The, 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 the bad thing with having the dinosaurs is like, the only thing I'm scared about is the pterodactyls. Yeah. Because I can just be chilling in my car. My car gets swooped up by a dactyl, bro. I'm done. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just walking, cool. minding You're my cool. business, about to go to walk, cool. the, walk, walk the Dario's in Newark. Pterodactyl stalking <laughs> me. Just pick me up by my shoulders. I'm like, <laughs> like this. Like what a the, cartoon character. What? What the hell? Whoa! <laughs> and now I'm getting flown into a freaking nest and have to fight for my life. That's the only bad thing. Yeah. Every every other animal we're cooling, but I ain't gonna lie, that's funny. I would like to see a podcast with Barack. I want to see George Washington. I want to see him. I want to see him work. <laughs> Yo, that's funny as hell, bro. But do you got anything else you want to say, Tyrone? You got any topics you want to um, talk about? I do not. Well, I do not. Hey man, thank you again for pulling up for another podcast, bro. What is that? Do you have the you have the trap phone again? Oh yeah, I'm on duty, bro. Oh, you're on duty right now? Yeah. This man is working and he's not even in the area. Multitasking. So, so if like <laughs> so if something happens at the do- at like Rutgers Newark, like I gotta go save the day, bro. Hey man, Superman. I put on bro. my cape and fly out there. Guys. I respect it, bro. Yeah, bro. But thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Regs Podcast, episode number 148. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment. Like the video, post notifications, you know what I'm saying? It helps in the algorithm, all that good stuff. If you're listening to us on all, uh, if you're listening to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, you know, give us a review, five stars, you know? We appreciate y'all, and we appreciate y'all li- listening to us every week, you know what I'm saying? It helps us in the algorithm. It's all free, too, people. Subscribe to our Patreon. I got to shout out all our Patreon people that is subscribed, you know what I'm saying? You get more content every month. You get four... If you don't subscribe, you get four videos. If you are subscribed, you get seven to eight, maybe ten videos a month. There's a lot of content coming, going up there and is on there already, people. 
So let me just shout out everybody on our Patreon. Let's shout out to the free subscribers. We got Jalen Strong, Jaquavion. Jaquavion, I don't know where you're from. Let me know. I think you're from Atlanta. Jesse Rodriguez, Kev, Rob Quash, Cal, No DeShield, Isabel Graham, Leek, DJ Woods, Ramon Padilla, Alyssa Smith, LaQuell Ingram, my boy from Harlem, Tyrone, he's in the building, Corey, and King Fry. And then we got our second round steal. So the people who are in the $5 tiers. We got DJ Khalid. Lillian Poole, Muhammad, and Tamia, and we got our first round lottery picks, the big $10 people. Shout out to you, my boy, Tavon Cox, bro. Pause. Tavon Cox, my guy. Shout out to you, my it's brother. My Thank you for subscribing. $10. We got a special uh, mukbang coming to you. You know what I'm saying? Tune in for that this week, probably. But, yeah, thank y'all again. You got any last words, Tyron, before we end this? Not a single word. Yes, sir. We different than regular regs, man. Gangsta. I don't really go get it. Yeah. I don't really go get it. Yeah. I don't really go get it. Yeah.